Fit to love is physical, emotional, and spiritual fitness to achieve the happy life you deserve. From exercise to cooking, relationships, and spirituality, you'll find all the inspiration you need right here with our host, JJ Plazanes. Hello and welcome to Fit to Love Tasty Tuesdays, all about cooking, all about nutrition, and all about you. If there's something you'd like to see on the show, we'd love to hear from you. Please send us an email at info at invisiblefitness.com. Enjoy the show. Today's show, Paleo Banana Bread. So when I decided to do the paleo diet, which is basically the caveman diet, it's meat and fish and seeds and nuts and fruits and vegetables. There's no grain in the paleo diet and that's probably, and there's no starch. So there's no pastas, there's no breads, there's no crackers, there's no rice. It's just meat, fish, and uh, berries and fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds and that's it. So in order for me to do a diet like that, I need to be able to bake. And I had to find some recipes that would allow me to bake and eat normal foods that I like because I really wanted to do the diet. And so I've been paleo now for almost a year and I'm loving it. So some of the main ingredients in the paleo diet to bake with would be almond flour and coconut flour. So that's going to be what we use today in this banana bread to make it paleo. So first we're going to start off with one cup of mashed bananas. We're going to do four eggs and we're going to do a half cup of melted butter or coconut oil. And I've used both of them, but for today we're going to use butter. Ideally, you want to use the bananas that are really overripe and they're really soft and the sugars are really, you know, pronounced. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those bananas today, so we're going to use bananas that aren't overly ripe, but I'm kind of that banana snob that only will eat the banana if it's perfectly yellow anyway, so I figured, you know, my husband might not get to these bananas, so let's use them in the banana bread. So I have my bananas, I'm going to add my butter, and it doesn't have to be melted if it's, if it's really soft. So you can leave it to sit out for a little while so it gets really soft. Here, I'm going to use a hand mixer to mash the bananas and blend the eggs and the butter. So I stuck the oven on 350 to start to warm up and I'm going to blend my bananas and mash them down. The softer the banana and the older the banana, the easier this step is. So I'm going to have to blend for a couple more minutes because my bananas were a little firm. have your eggs, your butter, and your bananas all mashed up and ready to go, we're going to add the sweetener. So on the paleo diet, it's sort of sugar-free. And what I mean by sugar-free, you never use any kind of white sugar. The only sugars on the paleo diet are honey, maple syrup, and coconut sugar, or date sugar, or xylitol. So those would be, well, not as much xylitol, but uh, more natural sugars that uh, in their whole form are a little darker in color, they add a little, have more medicinal properties, they have a different flavor than regular sugar. So I'm gonna use a combination of both honey and maple syrup today. You can use a half of a cup of either of them, but I'm gonna use a half a cup of them combined.
So I forgot to mention that I used a half cup of sweetener because my bananas were not too ripe. The riper the banana, the more sweet it is. And in that case, you only need a fourth of a cup of your sweetener. But if you're gonna err on the side of that you prefer it to taste sweeter than not taste sweeter, then add a little bit more. So somewhere between the range of a fourth and a half a cup. I would recommend that you taste the batter before you bake it. That way, if you want it to be a little sweeter, you can just add a touch more of the maple syrup or the honey. Next, we're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla. And again, depending on if you like vanilla, you can add one or none, but I love vanilla, so I'm adding two. Next, we're going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon. This really makes it really special. So if you try it, if you don't like it, you can omit it. If you love it, you can add more. Next, we're gonna add a pinch of salt because salt will bring out the sweetness. And before we add our coconut and almond flour, we're gonna add our baking soda, three-fourths of a teaspoon. So next, we're gonna take a spoon to stir that around. You wanna mix up all of your cinnamon and the baking soda and the vanilla and the salt before we add and our oven is ready. All right, lastly, we're gonna add, lastly, we're gonna add our flowers. So the recipe calls for a half of a cup of coconut flour and a half of a cup of almond flour. And I think I mentioned in one of the first episodes of the show, the paleo chocolate chip cookie bars, that blanched almond meal is my favorite when you want to make something that everyone will love. They won't even know the difference and you don't even need to tell them. That's how you get away with it. Now you can get regular almond meal or your homemade almond meal, but the blanched really gives it that extra fluffiness and it's white and it looks more like you use flour. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a different ratio today. I'm gonna to use a fourth of a cup of coconut flour and three fourths of a cup of the blanched almond meal. But again, it's basically a cup of flour made from nuts and uh, coconut and almond are the best to choose from. So once you've mixed it all together, remember I said taste it first before you bake it so that you know that it's sweet enough for you. Yum, 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 okay. So before I pour it into the pan, I'm gonna add coconut oil and I'm gonna use a really great coconut oil spray so that way it's easier. And you wanna really spray it well so it doesn't stick. I love bowls with spouts. I find it really easy to pour. If you're making the banana bread in a normal bread pan, it's gonna take about 45 to 50 minutes on 350 to cook. And again, always check it, pull it out around the you know 45 minute mark and then just stick a knife in the middle of it and make sure it comes out clean. Uh, I'm gonna make it in a brownie pan because I want it to be more like a cake. And you know, you can take this and you can add chocolate chips to it. You can sprinkle nuts on top with some cinnamon. You could add a, a frosting when it's done baking, but I want to do something different. And this will cut down on your cooking time. This will probably take about 30 minutes instead of 45. So I've pulled my banana bread out of the oven and I do need to add something to what I said earlier, which was that when you put it in a pan like this, it reduces the cooking time. It only does that if the pan is closer to how the oven is cooking. So for instance, I had a cooking client and the oven cooked from the bottom up and we had the banana bread on the bottom shelf in a pan like this and it cooked super fast. And so I thought, oh, it must just be that it spread apart and so then it, it, it cooked faster. Well, then we cooked it in my oven and that's not the case because it cooks from the top down. So it's the same timing. It's gonna be about 45 to 50 minutes. Check it if it needs a little bit more time. And because we were doing a paleo banana bread and I had all the stuff out, I thought I'd make pumpkin bread too. So we made a paleo pumpkin bread, which is almost literally the same recipe as this, except you replace the 
pumpkin uh, for the banana, like the bananas and the pumpkin, you just replace those. And then you add a little extra flour because the pumpkin is um, not as dense as the banana is. So otherwise it's the same recipe. And I added some pumpkin pie spice as well and cinnamon, not just pumpkin pie spice because I love the cinnamon. And I got my gluten-free, dairy-free, grain-free, paleo banana bread and pumpkin bread. The Fit to Love podcast show offers you six days a week of helpful content to achieve the happy life you deserve. Movement Mondays and Tasty Tuesdays are weekly video casts, while Wellness Wednesdays, Thoughtful Thursdays, Freedom Fridays, and Sexy Saturdays are audio-only shows themed every week to address your holistic life and needs. If this show inspired you, we would love for you to share it and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us today. Head on over to fittolove.tv for recaps of every show, resources, and to join the community. That's F-I-T, the number two, L-O-V-E dot TV. Have a fit and fabulous day.